Time now to talk back. Joining me today, CNN political analyst Roland Martin, CNN contributor and senior political columnist for Newsweek and the Daily Beast, John Avalon, and Ron Christie, former special assistant to President George W. Bush. Welcome to all of you. Hey. Hey, thank you. Hey, girl. <laughs> okay, I was just making sure everyone was awake. It's a good thing. That's I know right. it's early. Yeah. Uh, the question uh, this morning, should the GOP, should Republicans embrace Chris Christie? And I'm going to set this up this way. CPAC, the Conservative Political Action Conference. That's an influential conservative group. It's inviting Sarah Palin, Mitt Romney, Jeb Bush, Bobby Jindal, Rand Ball, and a host of others. But not Chris Christie, who just a few years ago was a conservative god. <laughs> So, Roland, what happened? Uh, first of all, they are ignoring people who are actually elected. Uh, if you want to understand where your presidents are likely going to come from, it's likely going to come from governors, the people who actually have been running states. And so it's nonsensical to say, fine, you want Sarah Palin, who lost, Mitt Romney, who lost. If you're CPAC, think about the future. Now, granted, they got a right to buy anybody they want to, but I would think you would be trying to get Christie and McDonnell, uh, and you get Walker, or you even get, uh, you know, uh, the governor of, of Florida, Rick Scott, as well. So I don't get why you ignore governors. That's where your bitch is. That's where your power is. Uh, well, especially Chris Christie, because his approval rating is through the roof, and not only with Republicans, yeah. but Democrats, too. And that's an unusual kind of political animal these days, John. It is, and that's exactly why the Republican Party should be running towards Chris Christie, trying to figure out what he's doing right. He's got the highest approval rating on record in New Jersey, 74%. Uh, in a state where uh, uh, the Barack Obama won by 17 points and Republicans only make up one-fifth of the electorate. Look, if there's a Republican governor out there who's got a 70% approval rating from women like Chris Christie does, that has a 68% uh, support from non-whites like Chris Christie does, that has independence overwhelmingly back him, you've got to figure out what he's doing right and replicate that on a national stage. If CPAC wants to preoccupy itself with Sarah Palin, you know, they can knock themselves out. But, but they're not only playing to the base, they're playing to the past. And Ron, what what is it that so turned off conservatives? Was it this, um, you know, supposed, in, well, he did. He embraced President Obama after Superstorm Sandy hit because he thought President Obama was helpful to his state of New Jersey. Was it that that drove conservatives away? I think it's part of that. And, and I have to say as a caveat as I start here, even though I was born in New Jersey, Carol, I have no relation to Governor Christie. So let me just put that out there to begin with. No, but in all seriousness, You're not his I, I other brother? a lot of conservatives... <laughs> No, not his other brother from not another mother. No. But in all honesty, I think a lot of Republicans are saying Governor Christie embraced uh, President Obama during the re-election campaign at a time when it was critical for Mitt Romney, and they in, in part blame him for the loss. But I would say to my two friends here, look, this is not the GOP convention. This is the conservative political action convention. And the conservatives are allowed to invite whoever they want. I do agree with John, though. For a guy who has well above 70 percent approval rating in a very, very blue state, he has to be doing something right to have all those folks, Republicans, Democrats, and independents in New Jersey, supporting him. So I think that Republicans should embrace him and see what he's doing right. Well, and we should point out the primary is pretty much controlled by conservatives, so you need a conservative embrace to win a Republican primary, right? Uh, my, my next question is, right. right, so CPAC is inviting Sarah Palin? She's not even on Fox News anymore, Roland. Well, look, look, first of all, remember, if you're a conference, what you're trying to do is you're trying to draw big names to be able to get your people excited. Mm -hmm. And I totally get that. But here's the other piece, Carol. This is an off year. It's, it's, it's 2013. It's not like, you know, the campaign is going to start going up big time in terms of really uh, <coughs> getting going. And so that's what it's all about. Clearly, they want to penalize Governor Chris Christie. I get it. And so if you're Christie, you're saying fine. In fact, if I'm Christie, you know what I would probably do? I probably would uh, probably set up a, a major speech at the exact same time somewhere and then likely draw all the media coverage and say, look, let me show you guys how this whole thing is done. And so Christie is saying, have your party. That's great. In fact, what Christie should do, he ought to send some donuts over to CPAC uh, to whoever is speaking to say, hey, uh, good luck with your conference this year. I would actually enjoy that. <laughs> just, just Ron, yeah. one more question. Uh, CPAC is also inviting sure. Mitt Romney, and he's so over. Well, mm. look, I, I think there's a, yeah. a little bit of nostalgia for Governor Romney right now. Really? I, I don't blame them. Yeah, I think there is. I think, you nostalgia? know, Governor Romney, now we can criticize. Yes, yeah, so otherwise, why would they invite him? 
they would not have invited him unless they thought he was going to be a popular draw. And let's not also forget, Carol, this is all about money. It might be a convention, but it's about money and it's about people buying tickets and people spending hotel money. And I think that they think Mitt Romney can be mm. a draw. So there's clearly some, some nostalgia <laughs> for him. So the nostalgia is for money, not exactly uh, Mitt Romney, John? Oh, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> remember, I'm just saying. remember, Carol, you know, someone once said that every great political movement becomes a business and then it becomes a racket. I think we're at the racket stage to some extent. Look, the Republican Party's been busy burning down the Big Ten, and this is just the latest symptom of that. They're not only excluding Chris Christie, they're excluding two uh, prominent gay Republican groups as well because they don't want to be associated with that. Uh, that is a dangerous game to play if you're trying to reach out to the next generation and win national elections. That's clearly not what's on their mind. All right. Ron Christie, John Avalon, Roland Martin, thanks for playing today. Appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, Carol. And, yep. And I, Always. I want to pass on to you what our viewers think of this question. Should the GOP embrace Chris Christie? This is from Vern. He's the only one with any common sense. I'm not from New Jersey, but I'd vote for him for anything. This is from Ivory. This man is clearly a leader and is in charge of his character and his choices. They can't manage him. He will not fit in. And thank God.